Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day everyone and welcome to another On the Bench segment here with Sport Fishing on the Fly. Today I'm going to bring you up a little jig fly that has uh, been very productive down at the bottom, it's a great little searching pattern, it's all the right colors, it can be very visible down there, it's a little buggy appearance to it as well. Uh, we'll go over the materials we need to tie the fly. Uh, I'm going to be using some purple 6 aught thread to tie with. The hooks, I'm going to be using some uh, Togan's 60 degree uh, jig hooks, and they're size 12. We're also going to be using some Togan slotted beads, these are hot pink color, 1 8 is the size. The uh, tailing material, I'm going to use some uh, ring neck rump packle. It's nice, it's got a nice bright sheen to it. The body, using some, this is a new product out, Togan's Karani Skin. It's blue, black in color. It's a great color combination. You're going to really notice that down there when it's wet. Fish are going to like that color down deep. The collar. I'm going to use a blend. Uh, I blended up some Semperfly Sparkle Dubbing and a Claret. It's a nice bright uh, dubbing, good accent. Accent, and I'm going to use a squirrel uh, dubbing and dark brown for the color. And just put a little of this in, and I've I've just taken and uh, blended that up in a little uh, coffee bean grinder. I use that a lot. I also use a big drink blender for bigger batches. Uh, I like blending my own. Uh, dubbings where I can, get the colorations I like. Okay, let's get, uh, oh yes, and the rib, there's a nice little add-on, it's a micro glint tinsel from Semperfly. Real nice bright material, and then I'm going to coat it with Solarez Bone Dry. Okay, let's get, uh, we got our bead on the front of the uh, jig hook there, the small end is at the front. I'm just going to dress my shank here. A little taper on the front here a little bit. Now we'll bring in a, one of our pheasant rump hackles here. You can use some of this, see it's kind of damaged, it's really not, doesn't have much other use. And I'll just uh, pull off a few strands, nice and straight. And I'll measure them both the shank length. Makes a good little tail. Run that all the way up to the head. Let's get a little thicker body on there. Then I'll even take it back over itself a little bit. That also helps the taper. So we'll bring in some of this blue black crony skin. It's a very fine little flash boo. And it's a color blue is a color that will always show up down the depths. Just get that tied in. Grab my micro glint. I'll piece that on here. Get that in at the rear. You can tie it just in the rear because it's not taking really any uh, big lumps on the shank of the hook. And we'll just bring our crony skin forward. Got a couple of colorations in it as you take it forward. It's mostly blue, and I'm just accenting it with the purple. And that's a great little, that's a bright body, and, and that's a color that they'll really see down there. Fish love that in the depths. These jig flies have been around a long time, really. We've just been using them recently that kind of taken a new craze in fly tying and fly fishing, but uh, the ultralight guys have been using jig flies for years. I know my mentor, Walt Lawson out of Redcliffe, he, he's tied them uh, jig flies and I was probably still in three corner pants, so it's been around a long time and it's very effective. Those guys are using those really, really light lines on the bottom and uh, I've seen some really nice trout come up out of those lakes, different areas. We're doing the same now with, with flies, and that's, that's a good thing. Okay, 
so we got that body all done there. I would probably recommend putting a coat of Solarez on there at this time and let it dry. I'm not going to do that. You guys know how to do put that on. I'm just going to put a dubbing loop on here. I can do it with my rotary vise, but I just want to show you. We'll just I want to put the collar on um, this way. Now we'll just use a dubbing uh, spinner, dubbing loop tool, and I'll take a little bit of my dubbing. I can run it straight up, and it. One thing that'll do is allow me to get my my collar uh, off more perpendicular, more of a collar. This little thick right here, you can pull off whatever you don't like and then wrap it up tight. Just spin it tight. You get dubbing blocks, dubbing loops. It takes a little, little more time. But uh, the last collar I showed you was basically just dubbed on and picked out. I'm going to show you this one here where we can actually uh, brush it out a little bit. I'll just get my wire brush. I get my wire brush sitting here handy so it, I've got enough here for a couple flies for sure. If you're doing them on a dubbing block just do a bunch of them and then you could just um, if you're going to tie a dozen flies or whatever just do them all in one swoop. And we'll come on here at the front. See I get my materials coming off the uh, loop here nice. It's actually looking like a collar. Whenever you think you got enough, tie it off. And that little bit of that um, material I use from that Semperfly sparkle dub, that is a nice accent to that dub. It just brightens that right up. And then I'm going to cover the bead. There's a little bit of a slot up there. And I'm going to cover that with my thread when I whip finish. And you can put a dab of head cement on there, or Solarez, or whatever you use. But it's a great little pattern. And uh, like I say, these jig flies have been around a long time. But not with these materials. We're seeing all these new materials coming out. So you can incorporate that into some really fish catching uh, qualities in a lot of it. Um, use your imagination. You can change this up to different colors. But uh, you want to hang that under an indicator, you're going to have a lot of success with that. So we'd like to uh, thank you again for watching Sport Fishing on the Fly. We'd like to thank our sponsors and also you for joining us today. And also if you want to uh, go on the website, join up as a member for Sport Fishing on the Fly. You can watch all kinds. There's 25 years of uh, TV shows and videos of all sorts of flies being tied there over the years. Quite a compilation of uh, information you can use at your leisure. And also free giveaways. Don has them, I think, every month. Uh, some great prizes for you. So we'll catch you soon. Thanks for watching.